When it comes to growing long and healthy hair, using oil is the thing that makes the biggest difference in your hair care. I already did this video a while ago, but it's old and I'm not so happy with it. So I thought I would take the chance and redo it, in English this time. So this is my very first English video, I'm only getting used to it, please be kind. There are a lot of different oils you could use for your hair and a lot of different ways to include them in your hair care and not every combination works for every hair type. And sometimes it can be even better to combine the oil with something else, but today I'm just going to focus on using pure oil. Try different oils to find your perfect match, like olive oil, which is rather heavy, or jojoba oil, which is a light one. Now let down your hair and get started with the first variation. You could just use oil in between your washes in your dry hair. My hair really likes it to get some oil every now and then, so I split it in half and bring it to the front. I always start with detangling my hair. Now I take a small amount of oil, spread it over my fingers and distribute it in my hair. I only use it below my ears, so the hair on my head won't look greasy afterwards. Don't use too much, I rather prefer to repeat this step several times with tiny amounts of oil. My favorite oil for this step is the coconut oil from Monoi. I love it so much, there's a whole video about it. But I also really like almond oil or argan oil for this. Using oil on dry hair adds a lot of shine. I especially like this when I braid my hair afterwards. This way the oil can also sink in very good, especially if I for example use too much. If your hair needs more care, uh, you could also do with some kind of deep conditioning before washing it. I have several recipes uh, using more than just oil for scalp and length treatments, because oil on its own is not always the best solution. But you can check them out later and just start with one single ingredient for your hair care. So for the length it's almost the same treatment like I'm doing in between my washes. I'm only using a much bigger amount of oil. If you're doing a treatment like this, your hair might look greasy, but you will only let it sink in for let's say one or two hours and wash it out afterwards, so no problem here. Additionally, I like to spread some oil on my scalp using my fingertips. For my scalp care, I like to use some kind of basic oil and add some drops of essential oils like lavender or rosemary. I like to dip my fingers into it and just massage it into my scalp. Take some time at this step and give yourself a nice scalp massage, because this can also stimulate blood flow, which is also really good for growing your hair. Especially when you tend to have a dry scalp, it can be that you set some dandruffs free, like you can see here with me, but they will be gone after the wash. Once your hair is all oily, it's time to, for example, put it up, sit back, relax and let it sink in for one to two hours. Or if you have the possibility, let it sink in overnight. You should only oil your scalp right before washing your hair, because this will always let your hair look greasy. Now wash your hair thoroughly to remove all the extra oil. Now last but not least, oiling your hair right after washing it. I prefer to do this when my hair is still really really wet. But be careful, in this condition it's hard to find the right amount of oil. You will not be able to recognize if it was too much oil. You will only see it once your hair is dry and then it's too late. So start with small amounts. If you're doing this on wet hair, you can keep your hair really nice hydrated and smooth. Perfect for this purpose is the LOC method. L-O-C stands for liquid oil and cream. I'm not always doing oiling before my wash, but I try to never skip this step. So the first step is liquid. As my hair is wet, there is no need to add extra liquids, but you could for example use aloe vera. Next step is oil. So I take a tiny amount of oil and spread it in my hair. As already mentioned, don't use too much oil in this step, especially as the lock method is really nurturing. I'm using my Monoi coconut oil. The last step is cream. The one thing that might sound strange when you hear it first. You could apply any kind of cream to your hair, like hand cream or body lotion, but I prefer to use special hair creams. My favorite hair creams are the R&B hair cream from Lush, which is really, really rich and nourishing for your hair, and the Desert Essence coconut lotion, which is a little bit lighter. 
if you never used some kind of cream for your hair. You could try it on dry hair first to get some kind of feeling. But the result is way better if you combine it like that. If your hair appears oily when it's dry, you could for example spray it with some of my protein leave-in. This helps the oil to sink in. So now you've seen all my basic steps, how I include oil in my hair care. Doing so was the first and I think most important step for me to grow long and healthy hair. And you could just start right away because you probably have some oil in your cupboard. I started with olive oil and moved on from there testing different oils. My favorite oils right now are coconut, almond and argan oil. But sometimes I like to include lighter oils like jojoba oil or babasu oil. If you're going for really rich care, you could also take avocado and olive oil. Last but not least, I have those two oils from Kadi, the Vitalizing and the Amla Hair Oil. I'm using those for scalp treatments especially. So now I'm curious, please let me know if you tried one of the steps I showed you and what are your favorite kind of hair oils. Just write me in the comments. Be sure I will read every single comment you write. Also let me know if you want to redo me another hair care video of mine in English. If you like to, also subscribe. That would make me really happy and you would never again miss any of my videos. Until then, see you next time, have fun! Let your hair grow long and healthy!